since the first inning. Burgess set, and the pitch. And Golden Nets will slap that one into left center field. Sir will pick it up. One comes in. Nate Cox will come in. Head first dive at second is not in time. Safe with the two RBI double is Trevor Golden Nets. He is out of his mind. Three hit day. Two RBIs, two runs scored, and for the first time since the first inning, the Oilers lead this game. It's 5-3. to three. Just got to get something in the air and deep enough for the pinch runner Jet Burden who stands at third. Burden at third, Porter at second, Goldenets at first, bases loaded, first pitch, and that one is going to go behind. Did it hit Garcia? Yes, it did, and that is a walk-off. The first pitch of the at-bat hits the back of Lincoln Garcia. He didn't have to do anything, and the Oilers walk it off. Do it right here, the 0-1. And CJ drives that one in a right center field. That is going to split the outfielders, and that's going to the wall. Golanets is going to try on in. Garcia is being sent. Garcia is going to be a play at the plate, and he's under the tag safe. We are tied. Drop the hammer, CJ Weinstein. Waving the bat is Rogers, looking to get that final out of the frame. Is a Seves. He's ready to roll. The one-two pitch. And that one is swung on and missed. Down by way of the K goes Rodgers. Two punch outs in the frame for Nathan Aceves. Six total on the day. How about that? He's matched his season high in strikeouts in the sixth. That Belrose has really sets him up for great situations. And he loves getting help from his defense. So can he get some help here? The 1-0. Runner goes. That one's grinded right back up the middle. Curry picks it up. He'll take it to the bag himself. He goes to first. In time, and that is a inning ending. Six, three, double play. As the Oilers today in their all orange uniforms with black numbers while the Gales are in their blue with white numbers and gray pants. As Trent Grinlinger will slap this ball deep in a left field. That one is going back, and that one is fair. It rolls up to the wall. Porter will score. Golden Nets getting on his horse, coming on home. Head first slide is safe. It's a two RBI triple. Drop the hammer for Trent Grinlinger. And once again, back to back days, the Oilers score in the first. This time, a two run triple from Trent Grinlinger. 2 2, runners at second and third. The 1 2 from Belrose. And that one's check swing. Did he go? Appeal down to the second base bag says, We're waiting for the call. No appeal. Now the appeal said, he went down by way of the K, goes Ebowine, and that ends the six. Down by way of the K, swing and goes Ebowine. Garcia dancing around second, the 1-1 one, one pitch. CJ will drive this ball into right field, and that one will get down and hit the wall. Turning third and coming home is Garcia. Tanner Edson's going to turn third and come on in. Weinstein will go and slide into third. It's a two-run triple. Drop the hammer. The Oilers are up. It's 3 to nothing. Afternoon, 0-1. Goldenets goes. Garcia's going to drive this one into right center field. Will it split the gap? Yes, it will, and it will roll to the wall. Goldenets will score. Turning second and going to third is Garcia. He will have a stand-up triple. He is now a home run shy of the cycle and the Oilers out a run. It's 6-1. to one. Clark ready to roll. And the 2-1 from Alexander. And that one is skied into left center field. Backing up on it. And misplaying it in left field is Bozeman. That will bounce to the wall. Two runners will come in. It's a two-run double from Cole Clark. Drop the hammer once again. And the Oilers are fighting back. It's 5-3. 0-2 pitch from Tanner Brown. And that one is lined into center field. Coming on in is Burden. He's going to dive and he's going to make the grab. Oh me, oh my, phenomenal work from center fielder. Jet Burden defensively getting on in. He makes the diving grab, and the Oilers will preserve their two-run deficit and look to rally in the bottom of the seventh. 